Hello everyone, um, welcome. Today is Friday. Um, I just wanted to give you uh, an overview over latitude and longitude. Hopefully you had that review uh, in middle school or um, earlier. So this is just meant for a review, um, but it is important for us to use geographic tools. So that's why I'm going over latitude and longitude today. Um, hopefully you completed the uh, mental maps analysis. Um, so you need to watch the video and answer the question. So if you haven't done that, pop over and do that real quick. All right, so um, hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, you know, you turned into all of the things you needed to uh, for this week, and it was awesome meeting all of you guys. Um, okay, so latitude and longitude. So what if I want to tell my friend to go to Chapio. Now, we talked about, or, um, you know, the beautiful, well, not beautiful, the great geographer um, that we just, you just listened to. So, uh, Ketith, I have a hard time with his name, Kitty Elwood, um, he explained to you why mental maps are important and why we can't just rely on GPS. So, let's say, your GPS isn't working, but you have a map, um, or your friend does, and they want to tell, you want to tell your friend to go meet them at Chatfield. They don't know where that is. Well, you could tell them by using latitude and longitude, or by a map. Okay? So I'm going to go to my location. Oh my gosh, I'm using Google Earth. Oh my gosh, we're coming in. Ah! Ah, crash. Well, that's not Chatfield. That is someone's house. Come on, Google Earth. You're letting me down. Okay, here we go. Here's Chatfield. So, here we go. So, I want to go to Chatfield High School. Oh, wow. Look how pretty it is. So, if you might notice, these little numbers down here. So, my mathematicians, uh, you guys will like this. So, location is, an absolute location is shown using these numbers, or coordinates is what you might hear it as. So, these are the coordinates of Chatfield High School, okay? And we'll get into that in a minute, okay? But, um, this presentation, again, I'm going to give you a copy. Latitude and longitude. So, the lines going across, so across, is latitude, or what I like to say is, how I remember it is latitude, fatitude, they're fat, because they're going around, okay, uh, kind of like that, that's how I remember it, um, and then longitude is long, long, they're long lines across the earth, they go up and down, Okay. And we'll get into what the equator and prime meridian means in a minute. Okay, so absolute location. So like I stated before, absolute location is the definitive location of a place using a recognized coordinate system. Okay. So um, what I want you guys to do with this, I forgot to state this earlier, so let me go back. I am sorry. I don't want to redo this video. So, um, please, please, please go into your notes. Um, hopefully you created your notebook already this week um, with that video. So if you forgot or didn't do it, make sure you set it up. Go to my Google Classroom. And then under Course Expectations. Okay. Um, and I did a video with that. So... Hopefully you have that. Well, go ahead in your table of contents, write in latitude and longitude. Hopefully you did that with mental maps and you took some notes on the video. Um, but anyway, in the Pear Deck, so you've had notes, write down latitude and longitude in your notebook, and you can pause this video to do that. And welcome back. Okay. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, you should have, again... But this is the title of your next page in your notebook. Okay, so going back to absolute location. So, 
Again, I stated it's the definitive location of a place using a recognized coordinate system. So the coordinates are the numbers, okay? So it's latitude and longitude uses those invisible lines, okay, to create like this little cross section. So where that cross section is, okay, is where you are located. Latitude and longitude allows us to find an application absolute location. Okay. So it helps us understand what latitude and longitude accomplishes and it pinpoints the exact spot okay, um, where you are located. So uh, for example if someone needed to know where you were a lot of times in your phone you, you say oh drop a pin or share your location. Well that has where you are. It's using GPS, Global Positioning System, to find where you are. Um, so you can sometimes drop a pin, and that pin tells you the absolute location. I know you, hopefully you guys do that on your phone, or you've done that on your phone. Okay, so what I recommend you do right now, you can pause me, is go to Google Earth and put in the locations to see their coordinates, the numbers. So you can put in your house, um, your grandparents' place, your, I don't know, cool places to go. Uh, I'll do it for like Costa Rica. I love Google Earth. So, anywho. Okay. So, latitude and longitude. Again, I just want to give you guys a foundation. Hopefully you know these. Okay? If you don't, you know, I can set up a Zoom meeting with you on Friday, and we can go over it if you want. So latitude and longitude, and more in depth, are imaginary lines. So it's these grid lines on the globe or on a map. Okay, they're not actually there. All right. Um, we also have. Okay, it provides us a precise system for determining an absolute location anywhere on Earth. And we divide the Earth into four hemispheres. So if you were to take the Earth, here's my Earth, and you were to cut it, okay, in half with longitude, and another half with latitude, okay, so horizontal again, horizontal is latitude, longitude is vertical, okay, yeah, latitude, longitude. So you cut it into fourths, um, you would have... Okay, again, this would be the North Hemisphere. Okay, this is the North Hemisphere. Okay. These two, um, two portions, or this half. And then you have the South Hemisphere, this portion down here, okay, this half. Then you want to say, okay, well, this one is the Western Hemisphere. Okay, it's the Western Hemisphere. And now this is the Eastern Hemisphere. So that's how the Earth is divided. Okay. So we've got, look here, this fourth proportion would be the Northwest Hemisphere. That is the hemisphere we live in. Okay? We live in the North Hemisphere and the West Hemisphere. Okay? This is wow, that's bad. the North East. Okay? This one, South West. And finally, okay, I have this one again. Yeah. Okay, now this might be tricky because actually this is in the southwest, but you kind of get the idea. Wow, I gotta erase that. All right. Now, okay, latitude. A little bit more into that. That measures the position north or south of the equator. Okay? 
the equator has a latitude of zero degrees. Okay? That's the most important latitude line. That's the biggest line. Okay? I'll explain in a minute. This is the equator. Okay? And it goes around the Earth. It's the fattest line there. So if we were to... Okay, I don't want to be a Chatfield anymore, let's say. Sorry, bye Chatfield. Okay, the equator now. Okay, the equator okay, is this line that goes around the Earth, okay, going around it, okay, cuts it in half horizontally. So let me okay. I'm gonna put in the equator. No, these are places. <laughs> So anyway, anyway, um, as I was saying, that's not the equator. Okay, zero. All right, so looking back at my Earth, my apologies. All right, we are, I got to look at California. Okay, the equator. Is down here. So the equator goes across down here, all right? Sorry, I can't point it out for you right now. Um, but just know that it's over here, all right? Um, and it goes around the Earth. So again, the highest latitudes are at the poles with latitudes of 90 degrees. And south, okay, 90 degrees as well. So those are the lines of latitude, and fatitude. Okay, so lines of latitude are also known as parallels. So you might know that from math. Okay, parallels never intersect. So that's what they're also known as. They get closer as you go closer to the equator, okay? Or get larger, sorry. So the circles get larger the closer you go to the equator. Okay, so this is the, the equator is the biggest circle, and then it gets um, smaller as you go up. So the Arctic Circle, okay, up here, and the Antarctic Circle are the smallest circles of latitude. Okay, again, the equator is the great circle. And I want to give an example of that by using the tropics. So we look at the tropics like, oh, I'm going to go vacation in the tropics. Those are... Okay, this, this area right here where it's the hottest, okay, where the sun hits to most direct, okay, here is the equator, oh, it's a little bit off, here's the equator, goes through like South America, through Africa, Indonesia, these are the warmest, one of the, some of the warmest places on earth, okay, we have the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, that tells us, okay, 23, 27, 23, 27, that these are the tropics where the sun hits the earth, okay, um, the hardest. Here we have, then the frigid zones are down here, okay, and temperate zones, it's, you know, you can look there. <laughs> it's not too, too cold. So the tropics, okay, think of beautiful sandy beaches, okay. 
of the Arctic and Antarctic circles. So again, those are the smallest lines, your circles. The Arctic circle is up here, and the Antarctic is down here. Okay, for the pole. Okay, now longitude. Okay, um, longitude. Okay, so just as we had latitude goes around the Earth, and we have the equator, okay, positioned as zero, so the equator is at zero degrees. The prime meridian, okay, is what is measured at zero degrees going up and down, okay? And everything is either going east or west is how many degrees it is, and I'll explain that. The longitude of the prime meridian, like the equator, is also zero, okay? And each line extends from pole to pole. And what I mean is like the North Pole, where we got Santa, and South Pole, okay? All right? So the, each line goes from north to south, okay? Um, so we have the prime meridian, how it, we decide, well, how it got where it is in longitude is from the Greenwich the Royal Greenwich Observatory in Scotland, that is um, the prime meridian, okay, where it's located. It's um, an area to get a lot of data, um, okay, so that's where it became that. And we have 360 lines of longitude. If you were to take it from the top and go all the way around the Earth, okay, in the circumference, we would have 360 degrees, okay? So, 180 degrees is, from 0 to 180 degrees is what we have is the international date line. Okay? So, the international date line, let's go back to the tropics. Okay? So, this right here, this line right here, okay, that goes through England and France and Spain and Africa, is the prime meridian. Okay? the center, right here, if you were to cut it in half, okay? So, and Greenwich is right here. So, um, if you look at that, that's all of that. The international date line is over here. Okay, we'll talk about that more. But that's 180 degrees from the uh, prime meridian. It's the other side of the globe, okay? So, we have great circles surround the circumference of the Earth. Longitude lines are great circles. Okay? Because they cut. Okay? The equator is the only two latitude line that is a greater circle. So, if you look at this, these are the great circles. Okay, going north and south. This is the equator, then. Okay? It's the only bigger circle than these. All right. These are not known as the great circles because all of the other ones, the ones that went latitude lines, get smaller and smaller. These are the same okay, circumference around. All right? They're 360 if they go all the way around. Okay? So again, lines of lat longitude are the same distance apart at the equator. Okay? They're the same distance apart here, here, Okay, this is the same distance from here to here, here to here, same. All right? So um, they converge or come together, get closer together at the poles. Do you see how they all come together here? So again, remember longitude is long, latitude is fat. So we we'll want to um, write longitude and latitude lines, okay? They're measured, like I said earlier, in degrees. Latitude is always written first, followed by longitude, so it's alphabetical. It always includes the direction north, south, east, west. North and south always go first, and they're always first. And east or west, or west and east, always go second. Okay. So again, north and south are latitude, East and west are longitude. Okay. 
So for example, Denver is written out as 39 degrees north, 104 degrees west. Okay? So because Denver, if we were to look at the Google Earth, okay, I'm going to put in Denver, Colorado, this will hopefully a little work on fine. Fly in the Denver, fly to Denver. Okay. So Denver, if you see, again, it's 39 degrees north, 40, 104 degrees west. Okay. Because it is 39 degrees north of the equator in the northern hemisphere and 104 degrees west of the prime meridian in Greenwich in England. So let me see if I can see that. All right, it's not in spot. I think it's in spot. Anyway, here is where we have the prime meridian. Okay. So, awesome. Okay, now Sydney, Australia, is 33 degrees south, 151 degrees east. So it's going the opposite way. Okay. So if we were to put that into Google Earth, Okay. Go and see me. Okay, bye England. Hello, Sydney, Australia. Good day, mate. Okay. So again, thirty-four degrees south, one hundred and fifty-one degrees east is how we get to Australia. So okay if we're off by a degree or two. Okay. Now, minutes and seconds. If you want to get more specific with it, I wasn't specific in the last one. They use minutes and seconds. Okay, kind of like a clock. So each degree, and you do it just like you know, it's 75 degrees, is divided into 60 minutes. Each minute is divided into 60 seconds. Okay. So each degree has 60 minutes, so it has 60 minutes, and it also has 60 seconds. So for example, Denver is 39 degrees um, 44 minutes from the equator and 20 seconds north. Okay? So again, this one butt dash is a minute. These two dashes are seconds. And we are 104 degrees um, and 59 minutes from the equator, okay? And 44 seconds west from the prime meridian, okay? All right. So, now, degrees. It's like, well, okay, we're 39 degrees from the equator. That means like we're 39 hours. Now, what that means is one degree of latitude covers about 69.2 miles on the ground. Okay? So, what that means is these degrees of latitude, how you go from one degree to this degree, is 69.2 miles. Okay? is one degree. So, you would have to take then, okay, 69.2, okay, to get as many miles as you can. So, if you try and figure out zero degrees from the equator and Denver is 39 degrees north, right? So you have a project, again, this was supposed to be a review. Um, complete the latitude and longitude practice. And if you want to watch a cringeworthy video, click this link here. Okay, love it. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions.